here at the Intergalactic Pirates Schooner, we obey the rules of the pirate because the rules of the pirate are special, are outside of the rules of the regular playbook, reinvented by you in order to provide evidence that there are thinking, sentient, individualized beings out there in this business world who are doing it differently and are founding new ways to express that have nothing to do with all of the standardized, scripted, generic horseshit that passes for normal but is actually mediocre. Now, what's such a big deal about pirates? Pirates do it their own way because pirates don't reinvent everything. There are ways to sail a ship, right? There are ways to fuck up and die correctly and quickly, and you don't want to do that wrong. So, of course, there's a decorum, there's an understanding of what it takes to make the shit work, but all the rest is up to you because your ship is your own. It will feel and perform the way you want it to once you assess and refine all of the different components that are required to get that flow and harness its power and navigate the as of yet unforeseen problems that might find them find their way to you the future is uncertain we know this and yet when you have a crew that you trust and when you have developed rules for your world that you know, that you believe in, you will be able to determine what you actually need, what is required for your business. Now, here's the thing. A pirate doesn't do it other people's way because the pirate knows that those ways should be called into question. Don't trust someone just because they say they know what they're doing. Who the hell are you to trust those people? And who are they to say, hey, trust me, I'm trustworthy. Oh, yeah? A long time ago, it was necessary to make sure that you knew what you stood for. Pirates didn't necessarily trust everyone out there, but if you're showing up in new territory, you want to make sure that you get what it is with a certain sense of openness, exploration. Yes, it takes courage. Exploration, when you show up in someone else's territory and you walk in and you say, Okay, let's find the lay of their land according to them, and let me accommodate them as best as I can according to me. If you don't stand for something, you'll fall for anything, and pirates don't fall for anything, because if you fall, you're falling on a sword. Yar. <laughs> and in the world of business, it's the same. All of the mavericks out there, everybody doing it differently, those are the people who are going to stand out. So what I have done for such a long time is create my own voice with my own work in my own world according to my own rules, and I have let the world catch up to me. Now, a lot of people don't know who I am. That's fine. I'm not there to see to it that they get to me before they actually need to. Everything in its time. I'm not here for them, I'm here for me. And it's not just about the Paul show. This is so I can help the maximum amount of people who find me in the right way. I don't want you to be liked and try to be overly friendly unless that's your bag. I don't want you to have to curse like a pirate and a sailor unless that's your bag. But I do want you to be able to articulate your vision. That should be your bag. That's all of our bag. That's everything in the pirate booty. All of the stuff that you have coming to you has everything to do with understanding that the uncertainty out there needs to be charted 
as best as you can and then navigated with everything you can do about it. Here's another thing. When you're a pirate, when you're a pirate captain, you have to know all of the components because everybody else who's doing their job needs to be discussed with and decisions are made in accordance with the lingo they know and the larger picture that you know. Don't put yourself at the mercy of somebody else. Don't put yourself in the hands of somebody who doesn't have as much of a stake in your well-being as you do. No one cares about your shizzle more than you. And that's why I make sure that all of the people who I'm working with who help me develop a language in common so that I can get what they're doing the way they do it and I can talk to them on a level that they get so that they can help me help them. That's what all of this is about. All of the different components of running your business, this is your life, you see. This is your livelihood. This is more than your livelihood. If you are going to help people, you are asking them, you are getting them when they choose to place their trust and good faith in you, and you owe it to them to make sure that they are safe. No one wants to step onto a intergalactic pirate schooner with a captain who doesn't know what the hell they're doing, and then go down screaming, crying, slow or fast, go down. No. This is a matter of serious, substantial importance. So, that's where this stuff comes from. That's what we do here on the Intergalactic Pirate Schooner. That's why I helm my own ship, and that's why I'm looking for people who are ready to step up and learn the rules. Because if this is pirate school and the captain is in, then I will show you how to understand the checklist of items comprehensively so that you can actually make sure that when you're walking through all of the different components of your particular journey, you have everything that you know you need. That's where you are going to be fully clad with all of the necessary battle-tested metal, armor, all of the strategies, all of the navigational maps, so that you can go out there and move forward into that uncharted territory, knowing that you and your crew are in the hands of a seasoned professional, which is you. Cool. What more can I tell you about a pirate? Oh yeah. Ethics. Pirates are ethical. Pirates and their crew trust each other at a very, very high level. They understand that their language is a language that is important to know, and that is how it is all going to flow. This is not about selfishness. It's not about me, me, me. We have a large world to navigate. And the future, which is uncertain, is laying out before you moment to moment, day to day, week to week, year to year. And if this past wild time has taught us nothing more, it's that the time to actually seize the reins and do it your way is now. That's it.